So I am back on Minecraft Preview Edition. Hopefully I won't need to be on this platform for too much longer given that we're just kind of waiting for Java Edition to get this stuff. It's still just on Bedrock Edition, but it might happen this week. It might happen today, but I'll be live on Twitch anyway. What I'll do there depends on what happens today. There's a whole barrage of new content being added to Minecraft as the year wraps up. Subscribe and I'll fill you in. Now, I didn't test this out because I didn't think there was going to be this much of an outpouring from the Minecraft community. So if you're not aware, Preview already has the new eye blossoms and the resin blocks, which will be added to Java shortly. What Captain Tibber has said is a direct indictment on Moyang for adding this new behavior that kills bees. Okay, it doesn't directly kill bees, it's poison. Poison doesn't kill, but it's effectively harming them. Moyang didn't add fireflies as they're poisonous to frogs. Relatively contentious. Now you can intentionally poison bees with the new flower. This is what they're talking about. This post has nearly 10,000 points on r slash Minecraft. It's one of the biggest posts of the month. And you can see here, a couple of bees are basically killing themselves in the new biome. And so what I'll do here is demonstrate what this is. I have the new tree. This is the pale oak tree. Got the new eye blossom that's not open. Doesn't matter what the state is. And we have a dandelion. Both of these can be pollinated. I don't even have a bee nest. I might just add one right here. It just directs the bee up there. All right. So what I'll do is I'll summon a bee in front of these two new flowers and we'll see which one of these flowers the bee selects to pollinate right now. And it's selected the eye blossom. So now it's poisoning itself every several seconds. I don't know why it's not taking any damage. I think it's because it's refreshing the poison effect. So it's not doing anything until it releases itself from the clasps of the flower. It's kind of distasteful, really. Let's do another one. So that's a one out of one. So it's not actively avoiding the flower. We know that for sure. And... <laughs> I'm not making this up. It's not scripted any- I've got nothing persuading the bee to go to the one flower that will kill it. So it's not even avoiding it, it's just going right towards it and it is under the effect of poison. It's gonna be there for another 10 or so seconds and it's- it's out. It's had enough poison already. Oh great, it's- it's learned its lesson. Poison is bad. What I'll do- this is- this is very wrong, but I'll push it towards it. So it doesn't even need to pollinate it. I think what's going on is as long as the bee is around this block, it will get the effect of poison. Two out of three, we'll do a couple more. So it's gone to that one and we'll summon one more and it's gone to the poisonous one. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. If you have several bees that are close to the eye blossom, it's still going to get hurt. Now, this is not a bug. You might think that this is a mistake. It's not. This is an entirely intentional thing that Moyang have deliberately added to this new update. The poison Potency is not very strong. We know this because with an amplifier of zero, I'm only taking half a heart of damage every 25 ticks, which is exactly how much damage the bee takes. So it's not really harming itself that much. It's not killing itself entirely, but it's only like zero amplification for one second. So it's not deleterious. Okay, so why have Moyang done this? Now let's summon a frog here. There's a theory that Moyang is not okay, or they're dissuaded from harm mobs through the use of real life entities or objects. Frog light is not a real item. The magma cube is not a real thing. So Moyang are okay with frogs eating something that really doesn't exist, even though it gives off the appearance of something rather toxic. They're not going to allow frogs to harm themselves through realistic behaviors, with the off chance that children may feel so inclined to mimic that behavior, like feeding frogs fireflies. They want to actively discourage kids from feeding parrots cookies. That's the hypothesis. Because eye blossoms are entirely fake, it is acceptable for bees to go near them. Now, I don't buy this. I, I find this a little bit confusing to me and also rather counterproductive, but it's the only explanation I've got. And if Moyang wants to include this strange functionality where bees will actively try to kill themselves by going near this flower, then so be it. But I see no realistic chance that Moyang is suddenly going to remove flowers from the game. No. 